Welcome to week 26. <laughs> I've got my notes. Sorry that I make a mistake. Week 26, we've got 415 subscribers. So thank you very much for joining. That's uh, 12 more than last week. And we had four shares. So things are looking up. I'm going to run through what happened this week as a kind of a spoiler. Uh, we did the excavation. Uh, all the excavations now finished. That's given us a bit more land to play with. Retaining wall is now finished, more or less. All you've got to do is render it and put the mesh at the top and then paint it. The soffits are maybe 50% done. Painting all week, smoothing, painting again, smoothing, making holes in the wall for CCTV cabling electrical cabling that kind of thing and then making good CCTV boys started this week so that's something to look forward to and off screen I bought the kitchen and the kitchen's um, microwave oven hob extractor that kind of thing so quite a lot of things happened this week so without uh, wishing to drag this on too much let's go and have a look well, will you look at that? Sunday morning and they've cleared all that. I'll show you the uh, difference it's made later on. Uh, I think they're going to clear all of this today. So Monday should be quite interesting to see. That's the difference it's made already. Um, I kid you not, it's added a good 12 foot onto the back here. It's gone right out to Red's grave and they've still got that bit to deposit. I know he's going to do this f around the house for the um, the path and the patio and over there. But it's definitely, definitely going to increase this area quite a lot. Quite happy about that. I'll be honest, when I recorded this, I didn't realise how long it was going to take this lorry to reverse it up and just dump some soil over the back of it. So this next clip goes on maybe a little bit longer than it should do. So let's uh, make it past the time with a bit of music. at the moment let's hope it stays that way for the roof of the barbecue unit very good at the back they've cast that column they've cast that column repeat after me they've cast that column They've cast, in fact they cast them all. Let's walk right down the back here and see what's happening. Wow, you can see what they've done. They've done a little Yui, a nice straight line. That's better than what I thought it was going to be anyway. It's come straight across and then it's going to go straight back to there and then join on that wall over there. Yes. I think that's uh, I think that's rather excellent. It's all at the right height. They've just got a couple of blocks to put on the side, and then they'll just do that bit there. I can't see them. Maybe they'll put another load down the back here. 
maybe they'll put another load on the back so this angle becomes steep but I mean it's staying there I mean it's not moving is it um, yes very good I mean we had to have a retaining wall here just for the um, just just to make sure I didn't want anything going down there um, so that's going to look rather nice when it's finished okay crack on and started to box out the um, what would you call it the indentations on the ceiling that's the first one that spark is made good yep made good on the back as well and there's my wall guys they're putting one more block well one or two I can't remember which on top of that lot to get it all finished and all looking the right height yeah very 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 good and at very early o'clock on Monday morning the guys are preparing to put the roof on so we should see that starting to develop today one more sheet after this I think you've not seen that bit that's the uh, the soffit board going all the way down and they've started to do or have finished the soffit board along that elevation so that's good isn't it Yeah, the guys putting in the soffits. This is the first undercoat going on okay my guys <laughs> <laughs> these are the um, security guys the CCTV we've just gone through all the various positions and locations inside and outside for the boxers and the cameras and the PIRs and they're starting today and what's the status for the works what do you propose to do today so we are laying the wires today uh, so hopefully we can finish it in one day so if we don't we, uh, we have to go back later yesterday uh, uh, the, the next day finish the job then we will go back we will get back if the ceiling is done. And when the ceiling is done, that's when you'll install the cameras? Yes, and the DVRs. And then when the internet's on, you'll come back and yeah, sure. connect everything yeah. up? All right, that's what we're going to do, so let's go. OK, if you want security, uh, our company uh, will do the work. We offer quality service, and quality works, quality items. So contact us. Our uh, business name is Ashmere CCTV Package and Installations. So we cater uh, advertising, photography, and security. So contact us. Our my cell phone number is 0942-7292-475. Just give me a call. Well, it's only been a couple of hours, and they've already got about halfway across. 
of uh, and the ladies have decamped their kitchen and snack area into me barbecue unit because that area there is going to get some uh, I think it might get destroyed or knocked down or something so they've decanted into there for a brief spell the excavation boys are still going no roofers um, that's still causing us a problem ah yes we've so we've just talked to the CCTV agreed everything like I just told you and Joel's gone round there with them to make sure he's happy with all the builders working connection stuff making the chasers and putting in some conduits for them to feed their cables so that's going tickety-boo what else we got to talk about that's about it really it's Wednesday CCTV boys have been in all the cameras upstairs are fed down to there because that's where the bag of tricks is going to be hard drive and the power banks and the goodness knows what else distribution box so everything goes there how they've left the cables are hanging down there so all the external ones are done and all the internal ones are done so when we've done the boarding of the ceiling they'll come back put the cameras in place crack on with that and then finally come back just to finish off any things with the CCTV up here we've put the two power points in the wall they go behind the bedside cabinets because the bed goes here as you know so uh, we can both have a, a phone charger <laughs> Um, what else we got up here? Nothing. So let's move downstairs and see what's happening. Okay, continuing on from Wednesday's progress. There's me, uh, there's me bank of plugs. All I've got to do when the shoppy delivery arrives is feed my HDMI cable from there, down the wall and out through that one and then to cap it off and then tomorrow when I'm here I'm going to get a tape measure and I'm going to measure exactly where this support stand is for the projector so they can put another support across there if need be. The power cable for the camera goes in that far corner. Anything else in this room? Ah, carry on. Hmm, okay. Don't be too dismayed about, I tell you what, think about cleverness. They've patched the cable for the camera through the light point outlet there. So there's no chipping, no messing around. Yeah, it's clever for you. Um, all right, it's gone up there for the moment on the outside, but that's visible. Uh, not only from this room, but from the room in there. So we're going to just make a groove in the wall, put the cable inside the groove, and then plaster over it. So all that will be hidden. So fear not about that. Anything more in this area? Uh, we're starting to give the stairs a bit of a skim. No, carry on kitchen area we've talked about but I don't think anything's happened here Joel and me have just discussed the windows uh, we're going to just change a couple of window ideas about hopefully get some PVC windows instead of aluminium uh, these two windows will be split down the middle and half opening ah we went to see the kitchen we went to see the kitchen supplier of white goods yesterday and we bought uh, the oven built-in microwave hob extractor uh, so all that's bought um, we'll be collecting that in a week or two so I'll take you along for that 
That's the kitchen done. I don't think we've done anything more in here. Dining room. Uh, what have we done in the dining room? The, the camera, PIR, sits up there. So he's wired all that in. These walls have been smoothed and skimmed. I think they've had the one coat of undercoat. Not all over, but in places. So that's this area done, moving on. Living area, right, we started to do the first coat of paint. So, all the pebble dash here and at the top and on the other side. I'm not sure how that's going to come out because it's uh, it's dark on screen but it's light in real life. That's uh, had one coat of light grey, no medium grey. So we'll see what that looks like when the grey's on the wall and then we can decide whether to tune it back or to make it darker. But that's had a coat of paint and that's looking really nice. This section here I never thought he'd do it, but he's managed to smooth that bit off. Um, and that, the upper part's ongoing, that's ongoing. The bottom, the bottom bit is done and he's done, a, he's done a good job as well. My painter, my painter here, um, as you know, down there and down there are stones and the middle bit is... Uh, plastered black so he's just filling in any gaps and ridges making it smooth and he's doing a good job a camera there cctv it's all right i can show you these because you, you'll see them later on actually installed so i'm not giving away any security secrets there's another one of my painters Skimming that wall, doing a great job. Look at that. A craftsman at work. What a good job. And he skimmed off, he's brought that wall back there so it no longer, dis the frame is no longer half an inch inside the wall. So that will get skimmed by this gentleman in a few minutes. So that's all smooth. That will get stone on it. Okay, that's the inside. Moving on. What's this bedroom for? Um, they've they've made good that wall. They've made good around here. This frame. So these guys will be moving in to this area shortly to give it a damn good sanding, and then the first coat of paint. Bedroom three, they've made good the door frame as you can see. They've made good that door frame. This guy is busily sanding it smooth so he can put his first coat of filler on it. No, it's already had the first coat of filler. I'm thinking it probably have the second coat of filler. Moving on. Guest room. What's happening here? Uh, well, in the last few days, I don't think anything's really happened in here. I suppose the painters will be moving in shortly just to do a little bit of making good here and there. Um, two power points because the bed goes in the middle, so that's for the bedside cabinets. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, not really had a lot of work this week. I think tomorrow we're testing the water supply and all the drainage. So I think tomorrow afternoon I'll get a phone call from Joel to say if you want to record this come down and have a look. So we'll test for any leakage, we'll put any stopcocks at a higher level or move them out. We'll swap over things like that so it's facing the right way. We'll add things like that if we haven't got any. We'll repair any cracked pipes. 
I think I saw a cracked pipe there. There's a cracked pipe, so we'll repair things like that. If it's watertight, from the house to this wall, if that's watertight, this lot gets cleaned off and backfilled and then um, maybe early next week we'll put a skim coat of concrete over it. So we know that from there inwards is watertight. My God, what's that? While I'm here, we had this area here reduced a little bit by the excavator, but he's not done enough. So Joel's still got to do some more here to bring this into a gradual slope down to the road. So that's got to, got to go down quite a bit. Um, excavator man just wasn't really, wasn't really thinking when he did that. So that's still got to be done. He deposited some soil there. That's going to be put along the front here by Joel. Let's walk around the house and see what we've got. Front, we've done my, we've done one row of blocks. Right, moving outside, you've got various CCTV camera points hanging down, that's the black wires. There's one there as well, but you can't see the wire hanging down. And all of those are for the cables for the one story and the one and a half story. They're going to poke through the wall and go up to the big junction box in the uh, bedroom. You can see the camera positions, there's one there. I think there's one at the back there as well. All the soffits on there, all the soffits on there. Um, we've given this front section a different colour to that section. That's light grey and we've gone for a mid grey and of course those are dark grey. So it's, it's all kind of blending in at the moment. That'll stay grey. So we've just made that bit of feature. Probably do the same up, up there. Continue it on upwards. Right, you can see here what they've done. They've backfilled right out to there. Making it quite a nice little area to sit on when it's all grassed. Okay, painters yet to come round here and start to do things, so we won't worry about that too much. You can see one or two more camera positions in there. Well, I went to the expense of having a retaining wall put in all the way down there to there, which on reflection I didn't really need because the retaining wall isn't the earth isn't actually on it. However, it does act as a barrier. It acts as a nice looking barrier as well. And I'm sure once that's uh, plastered over and painted or pebble dashed or whatever we do with it, it'll look really nice. So uh, I put some solar lights on the top. It'll look nice. So, the boys are doing quite well on there, wouldn't you say? I've got quite a lot more land here to play with. So you can see it's come right out to where I'm standing. Red's underneath that lot somewhere. Well, you can see the stick. The stick might have moved a little bit, but the stick's there. So it's roughly in that position. So once all this has pushed over, it might just be on the corner of the patio. So easy position just to put a light there and plant my tree and put some stones around it. Um, he 
gone but not forgotten, poor little red. Ah, the girls have decamped out of my barbecue unit and they've got their own cook <laughs> and they've got their own area. He's making the poles for the wall behind. Um, what's happened in here? Well, we put the roof on, we've got to just cut that back a bit, paint this area at the bottom grey, and then we can paint it black, knock through that hole there to form a chimney opening. The chimney goes at the back and sticks out. Distribution board to go in there. Mind I don't tread over those chickens. Oh, look at the little chicken. Is that one dead? Oh no, he's alive. Um, what's he doing? What's that guy doing there? Oh, I know what he's doing. He's putting in my soffits. There he is. He's doing a great job. I don't want you health and safety boys banging on about not wearing a hard hat because if he falls from that height, hard hat's not going to make any difference, is it? <laughs> Particularly as that bit of wood underneath him has got nails sticking out. I'm going to give the health and safety boys a shock now. There you go. There's a rebar sticking up. There's wood with nails almost where he is. So. But he's got, he's got protection from the gods, so he's safe. Uh, right, so that's, that's the back. Quite a lot of work done this week. There's mother and her babies. And then this area here, as you can see, we have left a embankment on the side because we didn't want that wall to collapse not that it would but we didn't want to undermine the foundations so we've gone all the way back to there so when we start the landscaping works all that will be smoothed off cleaned off the embankment made a smooth gradient what I'm doing at the minute is I'm looking at the ground for shadows because I want my pond here somewhere we're going to dig it by hand soon as the excavator people couldn't be bothered to spend 30 minutes digging it out so we're going to dig it by hand somewhere here so it's under cover of the shade which is actually rather good so this is where it'll go just here somewhere Yes. We ah, can you see my palm trees have gone? So both of them two have gone, making it a lot wider. I actually like those, but the thing is, those those coconuts go like cannonballs in the high winds, which is one danger. And the second danger was I didn't want any any of them falling on my head. And the third one was when they shed their leaves and branches, they looked quite ugly. So they had to go, didn't they? So what I'll do, I'll plant some, uh, some, something like that. They grow nice and tall, give a bit of shade off. Uh, but there's nothing, there's, no, there's nothing dodgy about them. They don't cause a problem in the wind, they don't drop anything on your head. <clears throat> and then it's somewhere around here we'll have a, a coloured plant. Uh, I might buy another red maple and put it here. Okay, let, let's go and have a look at the guys on the front of the fence. Or wall, should I say. So, we've taken out the big stump which allows these two guys to do me rendering on the wall that was behind it. So they've now done that. They're smoothing off the tops. Uh, it's gonna look good when it's finished. Thank you boys. 
Fridays and we've got some drain pipes put up okay we are gonna paint those probably white I guess hide them into the uh, hide them into the wall those two pipes I mean they couldn't go anywhere else really but um, they are in the way of the cameras so we'll just have to move the cameras it's no big deal is it now you can see he's leveled off the top of that fence uh, fence wall <coughs> and now he's going to continue along there today I think he's done the front he's just got to do the back yeah very nice well the back walls progressed a, a tad and they've got all this up to the final height in fact I think it's all up to the final height yes it is it's all up to the final height all the way along so he's just putting in some cement or concrete inside the blocks to harden them off maybe there's one more row there to go maybe there's just one more row um, but it all looks like it's ready to be finished off okay now we've got a channel taken out of my block work going all the way up into that larger opening and into there I'm told that's for the um, the intercom for the door so there you go that's what happens when you have intercoms on doors yeah chicken now what we've got here is uh, the electrician's been busy we've got PowerPoint we've got a light switch we've got the distribution board and the distribution board is going to feed whatever's in the barbecue unit it's going to feed the pond electrics it's going to feed the external lights in the garden electrics so he's been busy oh and you can see a little bit of backfill that's going on just to get it up to some kind of level yeah. right if I had to guess I'd say they've done all the soffit in the two-story they've done three quarters in the one and a half story they have they've got to finish that they haven't started that one yet and they've not done that one the one under there or the one at the front but they are progressing so hats off to the boys oh and I've got a bit of a story I'll tell you later on in the closing bit about the roofing contractor so stay tuned for that well I guess these are the last few knockings of pictures for Saturday at the end of the week I don't want to put too many uh, on it's already 30 odd minutes long you can see they've done the back wall all the right height they've got the posts all the right height they've linked it in with that far wall all they've got to do now they've done a little bit of backfill in there you just got to do a little bit of backfill in here render the wall where it's exposed because of course this wasn't going to be rendered very good there it is obviously we will be getting rid of all this rubbish down here to make it relatively neat i tell you what standing here it's quite cool you're under this shade, you've got a lovely view. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite nice down here. There's the guys flattening me floor, backfilling it. Sparky's put all his cable his cabling in. 
Yes, thank, thank you very much. Oh, just put it there. There's my coffee just turned up. So I'm guessing they can just add a layer of concrete on top of that and it's finished. Now my idea for this was just plant a hedge all the way down there to hide it. But Joy wants some kind of a wall that we can convert into a planter. Which vegetables and fruit, that'd be nice wouldn't it? Have all that vegetables and fruit. Yeah, I can see that. Very good thought. Right, we've got one guy inside smoothing off my stairs. And we've got one guy smoothing off the wall there. That might be a bit of abortive work because I think there's some deco stones there, but I haven't got the heart to tell him. There you go, just giving it a quick lick of white paint just to mould it into the, the colour scheme. Yeah, now that's the last bit we're going to see this week. He's just smoothing off the top, making a really good job. Yep, quite pleased with that. There's my little man making it nice and flat for me. Okay, that's behind the cabinet, so you're not going to see it, but I ain't going to tell him. But what I did do, I brought my new uh, HDMI cable, my 8 meters HDMI cable, and we fed it up the wall, out that tube, or conduit, if you prefer the exact word, and it's sitting rolled up in that green bag there. So when they put the ceiling on this on Monday, they'll put another box maybe in there or there and they'll put that through the box so when the projector stand or pedestal goes on that dot there they're going to put me in with the support when it goes on that dot there we can just plug that and that into the projector because that's in the dead centre of the room. There you go. There you can see he's recessed the wall, ready for that CCTV camera cable to be embedded in the wall, and then we'll make good. And the second to last. <laughs> Second to last video of the day or of the week. You can see how much that earth's been moved, made it quite a nice little view. Thank you for watching that. Uh, just do a quick summary and like I normally do. Um, now I did promise you something about the roof. So I'll get that over with now at the end. The roofing contractor was a shambles. Um, I don't mind saying that on video. It was an absolute shambles. Um, as you know, the first day they were here, I sent them off site. Um, under my better judgment, I let them back on site, but I shouldn't have done, because it didn't get any better. Although the building is watertight from a light shower, um, it's not from heavy rain or it's not from driving rain, because they haven't done it properly. Uh, the, the overlaps are bad, there's dents, uh, it's not correct the way it's been linked into the brickwork at the sides. The sealant's the wrong colour, they've used bolts, screws and rivets to, um, to fasten it down. 
So they did try to come back on site this week and I sent them away. That's it, forget them. So Joel's been thinking about it and um, he's gonna finish off and repair the roof starting on Monday. So round of applause for Joel for taking that on. Uh, I'm fully confident he's gonna do it. Um, his guys know what, he's, what, his guys have got experience of roofing. He's done, uh, he did the roofing on this very building here. And he did the roof on the barbecue unit, although that's just simple. I think, to be honest with you, with a bit of sealant and with a bit of time using the right rivets and expanding foam, I think we've got it taped. So Joel's going to crack on with that on Monday. So that's, that's the big thing for Monday. The soffit's all finished. Electrician will continue to put his pipes in all around. The water guy's the same, so we might be doing a water test next week sometime. Supposed to be this week, but we ran out of time. The, the cables for the speakers are going in. Um, I've got them here. <clears throat> so the heavy duty, <laughs> really good quality speaker cables. There we go. So they're going in. Uh, what else have we got? Nothing apart from the bloopers. There's a couple of bloopers because <laughs> this week's didn't go well. Right, so just to finalise, I wish everyone a great week, a wealthy week, a healthy week, a safe week and a prosperous week. I hope you all return to watch the video next week when we continue with the roof, which means... The ceilings can go in, which means progress can start on the inside for painting the roof, for painting the rooms, for doing the floor tilings. So it all hinges on the roof. So without further ado, have a great time and I'll see you later. We have got the cables installed. Uh, these go down, start again. Wednesday in the CCT Voice, uh, up at the top here will be a couple of, uh, there'll be a distribution box for all the cameras. There'll be uh, two power uh, banks, two power banks, and there'll be a hard drive recorder just there. So all that lot, all that corner will be um, where everything, I'll do that. Going on. 16 cameras for this beast with passive infrareds for movement detection on the inside. So I think I'm fairly secure. And if they ever get in, I've got a shotgun, so that's all right. In the Philippines, we are allowed to use deadly force. There's Joy on her. I bought Joy a, a motorbike. She wanted a Sure. No, she wanted the three-wheelers. I bought her that. 